All right, here's a new feature in Tally Arbiter where you can send TSL 3.1 data to any number of connected TSL clients. So you can see here there's a new box called TSL Clients, and I have one client configured currently, and this is the IP address of my Carbonite. It's the same Carbonite I'm getting data from, uh, Tally data from, and I've configured it for port 5727. And if you look in the dashboard interface for your Carbonite, you can see that uh, this is the listening port for TSL UMD, and so that works over TCP. Uh, every device now has a new field called TSL address, and so I've just configured uh, simple numbers for each one of my devices here. Uh, they can be whatever you want. It's what the uh, Tally Arbiter server will send, so it doesn't have to match maybe what your original source was. If that was TSL, it can just be a new number. So now if you look over in Dashboard, we'll go to the Configuration tab of the Carbonite and go to Inputs. Uh, let's just look at Input 1, for example. I have it just labeled 1. Uh, and then I have over here, TSL address, I have it as 1. And this is what's coming from Tally Arbiter. Now by default, it might look like this. And this would say off or none. But I'm going to say TSL address of 1. And now it's turned on. And so it's getting its data from the Carbonite to Tally Arbiter and then sending it back to the multi-viewer. And so now if I were to come in here to camera one and let's just say I want to name it hello and I hit save. Now if I look at the multi-viewer and I cut to camera one, you'll actually see the label change to what I've named it in Tally Arbiter. So that's a nice way to be able to control what you see on your multi-viewer by feeding it data directly from Tally Arbiter. So this would work for any uh, Tally Arbiter source. It doesn't have to be coming from a Carbonite. So here's an example of how to do it with a Blackmagic ATEM. Okay, over here in my ATEM software control, uh, I've got that pulled up and connected. And in Tally Arbiter, I have a new ATEM source connected. And I've gone into just the first two devices here in Tally Arbiter and assigned them uh, source addresses from the ATEM. So really just these first two cameras are the ones I'll be tracking in Tally Arbiter. Now you'd have to do this for every source that you want to track. Uh, make sure it has a source mapping that relates to the address from your original source. So usually that could just be one or two devices or maybe you have all your cameras mapped into all switchers. Uh, it's really just a matter of your unique setup and how you're using it. Uh, but you can see here in the ATEM software I have camera one in program and camera two in preview. And then in Tally Arbiter, I'm also seeing cameras three and four in, in uh, program and preview because on my Carbonite, I've got cameras three and four in program and preview. But now if you look at the multi-viewer, you'll see it's showing me camera one and three are in program, camera two and four are in preview. And that's because Tally Arbiter is sending all of this data over TSL to the Carbonite in real time. So if I were to come over to the ATEM software and make a cut, you'll see it make a change. And so that shows me uh, as a switcher operator on the Carbonite that, hey, somebody else on some other switcher is using those two sources. So this is the latest feature of Tally Arbiter, being able to send uh, TSL client data in real time. And then you can do that over TCP or UDP uh, to any device that you want to send that to and you can add as many as you want. So that's it. Thanks for watching.